I go through my 14 year old's phone regularly. I have passwords to everything, or she can't have it. We own it, we pay for the service, and we decide what she can and can't do on it. That's what active parenting looks like in 2021. Parents who aren't doing this are negligent. Uh, parents who aren't doing this are probably going to have a much better relationship with their child in the future than you are. Now, I get it. You want to make sure that your kid isn't getting into some weird stuff that's for sure out on the internet. But at a certain point, you also have to give them their freedom because all you're doing here now is building fear and distrust and secretiveness between you and them. What's going on, Marchodes? It's your boy Long Nail back again with another new video. And in today's video, we're going over the hot posts from r slash insane parents. Let's get into it. Hey folks, I'm homeschooling my kids and trying to educate them on our true history, not the indoctrination stuff taught in school and every textbook out there for kids. Does anyone have any good resources suitable for kids already on the flat earth, Tartaria, interested in giants, lies, colonialism, actually anything that's not the narrative we're taught? Thanks. Uh, the Tuttle Twins may be a good starting point. My kids are very young, so not something I've dove into yet. Uh, you're really just setting your kids up for a whole bunch of confusion because at some point they're gonna hear the facts and then they're gonna be like, wait. And they're gonna have a hard time believing it at first, but when they're met with overwhelming evidence that proves that what you were teaching them was just nonsense, well, then they'll probably have a little distrust in you for the rest of your life. So I suggest you do your own research before you start misinforming your kids, which is probably gonna come back to bite you in the bum in a few years. How can I get my three-year-old to take activated charcoal? I think she's come down with the stomach flu. Oh no, you're not really gonna force your kid to eat activated charcoal. You realize that's only for like, if they ate too many vitamins or something like that that needs to be absorbed in the stomach, not for the stomach flu. In fact, if they actually have the stomach flu and you give them that, they're probably just gonna end up severely dehydrated. So when are you coming home? I'm not sure, we'll probably do Christmas on Christmas Eve. <sighs> that's such bollocks. You're not married. You need to get home for Christmas Eve or I'll take your gifts back. I don't even know who you are anymore. You're so brainwashed. I mean, you live with him. What even is there to get that he hasn't already gotten? And lastly, if your grandmother or me doesn't make it past this year, you'll have to wait on your shoulders for the rest of your life that you did not want to come home and be with your family at Thanksgiving or Christmas. Shame on you. Nope, shame on you for trying to guilt your child into coming over to your house when they're clearly already in a difficult situation. Because guess what? He also has family that he would like to spend time with. And they're being reasonable saying, oh, well, we'll just get with you guys on Christmas Eve, his family on Christmas. And then probably if you weren't just an absolute loon like this, they might go and next year we'll do the opposite. But you're probably ruining your chances of that by being a little bit self-centered and entitled. And honestly, you kind of deserve whatever they decide to do. You okay? Why aren't you answering the phone? Do you need help? I've been calling for 30 minutes and you're not responding to texts or calls. Seriously, answer the phone. I'm fine. Stop calling me, please. Please then answer. I don't want to right now. I'm eating. Uh, what are you eating? And you answered pops? I'm eating mac and cheese. Uh, just an overprotective parent doesn't know how to give their child space and boundaries, especially when we're talking about an adult child where it's like, hey, uh, I don't even live with you anymore. Could you uh, not expect a response within five minutes? I mean, you literally sent like 15 texts over the course of three minutes. Don't you think that's a little bit much? When I received your email, I cried. Your dad comforted me through the night. I felt such sorrow and pain that my dad's precious name would be associated with donations to these organizations. Then I prayed about it, and I asked God to use these funds through these organizations to find a lost soul who needed the love, support, and eternal forgiveness that only Jesus can give. God can do this because he's such a good God. I hope these stories help you understand your loving grandpa a little better. Love, Mom. <laughs> That's the response that this kid got 
when he got an inheritance was asked to donate 10% of it to whatever charity he chose and then share the charity did that donated to a charity that she doesn't agree with so then she goes on this little tirade that oh i can't believe my name's gonna be put on something like that and it's just a regular charity it's like oh okay i mean you could have just said what charity you wanted me to donate it to if you're gonna be like this you promised to follow house rules which includes home security so turn the camera to face the entrance when i'm home it doesn't need to be turned it'll be turned when i leave the house move the camera or move yourself out your choice you already informed me that i have to move out yeah and we can move this to within 30 days if you're unable to cooperate with our request I was already planning on it. Will that be end of November or mid-November then? Um, bro, this parent's just absolutely lost it. Clearly, it's not about looking out for their child's well-being at this point. It's just about how much control can I get away with? And you just stepped over the line. And they already were dealing with, oh yeah, I'm going to have the security camera up just to appease you, even if they didn't want it. It's just so annoying. And then this parent's like, I just, I just don't get it. I could do everything for my kid. And they're just so ungrateful. It's like, no, you're you're playing a strong hand and forcing them into doing what you want with the threat of they're going to be homeless if they don't. Yeah, that's a good way to earn respect and trust from your kid. This Todd was wrapped in banana leaves and made to lie on a charcoal bed. Charcoal. You can see that, that charcoal is orangey white, not black, which means it's been lit. Why? I get it. Some things are tradition. Some traditions are, let's just say, nonsensical. I mean, you're literally just roasting this kid. That That's literally all that's happening right now. Uh, maybe you, you don't do that? Maybe? I don't know. All right, Modern Chodes, that's it for the hot posts from r slash insane parents. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And of course, share this video with your friends. And if you want to help support the channel for free, anytime you have any shopping to do on Amazon, just click the link in the description down below. Do your shopping, it's regular. It won't cost you anything extra. And it'll help support the channel. So I'd really appreciate it. Till next time. Peace.